It's the season of giving, a chance to help the people and organizations in our communities working to make the future bright for everyone. We like to say that clubs are hubs for inspiration. So at the club, a kid could discover a passion or an interest that they didn't know they had. Uh, we are a community of diverse people um, that are trying to build deep, uh, meaningful relationships that connect people from different communities. This morning, we sit down with the Boys and Girls Club and thread their missions to further the successes of Baltimore's young people and the help they need to make it happen. Plus, avoiding those ever present scams. If I could say anything during the holiday mm. season, use your credit card for everything. The new ways fraudsters may try to steal your money and how you can protect yourself. And hello everyone, I'm Jason Newton. Welcome to this edition of 11 TV Hill. It is so easy to get swept up in the shopping and gifts of the holiday, but there's a reason this time of year is also called the season of giving. And local nonprofits hope that Marylanders generosity this Giving Tuesday will keep their work going. Joining us now from the Boys and Girls Club of Metro Baltimore, Senior Director of Communications, Jesse Schaefer. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. You guys do great work, and it's just year-round nonstop. I guess you're, you're, it's tiring work, I'd assume. <laughs> That's right. So we serve kids ages 6 to 18 in the out-of-school time hours. Yeah. So during the school year, that looks like 2 to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And during the summer, that's all day. I love it. And you're looking for folks who could come in and help support your activities. And what I like about it is that there's so many different ways I think a person can give. It doesn't just have to be monetarily. Yeah, we are always looking for people that care about young people to join us in our mission. Um, this holiday season, folks can support Club Kids by making a contribution, of mm -hmm. course, by purchasing a gift for a child from our Amazon wish list. And we're always looking for volunteers who are able to commit at least an hour a week for 12 weeks to help during the out of school time hours. Let, let's With, go through that because I think that's what a lot of folks say when you approach them about being part of Boys and Girls Club is I just don't have enough time. And it doesn't have to be a full day commitment for them. That's right. So we're out of school time hours. So for typically for folks, that means sort of the end of their work day or in the evening. Um, they come to our clubs. They can help with homework, help deliver a snack to a kid, yeah. um, play basketball. There's all kinds of activities always happening in the clubs mm -hmm. that we're looking for support with. I feel like this is an organization where it is not just beneficial to the person being served, but for the person doing the serving as well. There's growth for everybody. Yeah, we hear so often from volunteers that as much as they felt like they gave something to the young person they were working with, they got yeah. so much more in return from that relationship. What does a kid walk away with, do you think? How does, it, how does that change someone's life when you're part of Boys and Girls Club? Yeah, we like to say that clubs are hubs for inspiration. So mm. at the club, a kid could discover a passion or an interest that they didn't know they had. Yeah. They could connect with someone who will ultimately change the trajectory of their life. Did you feel as though you had to restart things? I'm guessing we went through the pandemic and whatever was normal was not normal for two years. How did it change for you? And then how are you rebounding now? Yeah, so unfortunately we did have to, um, you know, not welcome volunteers for a period of time during the pandemic, but our clubs remained open. So our full-time staff were there serving yeah. kids. In fact, serving kids in even bigger ways than they ever had before, staying open to support with virtual school, for instance. Uh -huh. But we're very fortunate to be back to more of our normal operations. So kids are in school during the day. They come to us in the afternoon. Volunteers are back in the clubs, um, and it feels really good to be to be operating much more normally these days. Yeah, you recently got help from the state. I think it's Project Bounce Back. What is that all about? What does that entail for you guys? That's right. So the state of Maryland chose to invest in our young people through um, Project Bounce Back, which supported the expansion of Boys and Girls Clubs across the state of Maryland. So through that investment, we've been able to open new clubs in places across Maryland uh, um, and serve thousands more young people. All right. So how do people get in touch with you? How do you find one of those local locations if you're looking to volunteer? Absolutely. So boys, folks can connect with Boys and Girls clubs of Metro Baltimore at bgcmetrobaltimore.org and if they're interested in holiday giving it would slash holiday dash giving they can also find the boys and girls club in their local community if they're a bit further flung um, and we can help them connect to that as well so it could be your time it could be one of those Amazon gift card wish list things there are many ways that you can help out with the boys and girls club. yeah absolutely and we're so grateful to people for thinking of our club kids during this holiday season excellent Jesse good to see you thanks for coming by thanks Jason yep